supine resistance band shoulder press. We got a long loop resistance band. We're gonna loop it around our foot. So if I'm pressing with my right shoulder, I'm gonna put the band around my right foot. I'm gonna bend up my opposite leg so that can help me push my low back into the ground. So that way I know the motion's coming from my shoulder, not my low back. I like to have the band anchored to where you're not wrapping it behind you like this. When the band is anchored in front of your elbow, that pulls you into internal rotation, so your external rotators have to fight that. It just adds a little bit more of a challenge to the shoulder. So, we always tell people to start with their knee bent, that's the easier position, because the band won't be as stretched. And then from here, you're pushing your low back down, keeping everything grounded, and then you're pressing up into an overhead position and coming back down. If that's too easy, then you can straighten your leg out. That's gonna increase the tension on the band as you go up. And then if that's too easy for the sets and reps that's prescribed in your programming, you can always increase the resistance of the band or get a, or excuse me, get a bigger band so that resistance is increased. Things to be aware of, if you have some sort of discomfort by getting into a full overhead position, you certainly can press a little bit higher so your, your arm is not coming as close to the ground and then you can play with the angle relative to your head or your torso. So if pressing in this position is a little bit of an, um, um, there's some irritability with that, excuse me, you can press out a little bit wider. Just find the path of least resistance and what feels the most comfortable for your shoulder.